this is a video showing you how to set up a crown cts 600 in a residential application now these amplifiers are typically meant to be done for large scale audio systems grocery store laundromat not necessarily meant to be done in something like a home but i have some subwoofers that i'd love to hook up so let me show you how i hooked them up now i did a bad i have a crown cts 2000 i'm not about to go pull that out what i do have in front of me right now is a 20 pound lighter crown t cts 600 this guy is it upside down Oh shoot, hold on. Ugh. This guy! You know, now let me show you how I set it up. And I promise you I'm not going to take any more than five minutes of your time. Do I have something behind my nose? Okay, whatever. You are going to need to buy the amplifier, which you already know that if you're here. Now let's go to the things that you're going to need to buy aside from that, okay? The list is pretty short. You're going to need this $5 phoenix three pin connector that you can get from midwest cnc services on ebay if you look up crown cts phoenix connector it's going to come up buy some what you're also going to want to do is look up rca female terminals and you're going to get these little screw-in connectors you're going to want to buy one now if you look here i bought the males because i'm dumb i just used rca couplers to make them female but you want to want to buy some of these okay buy some of these and then just get a little bit of wire because you're going to need to make these little jumper cables if you have wires hanging around it'll work like, you have a Cat5 cable, just strip it out. I promise you, it'll be just fine. No? So, these, this is how you're going to connect to the back of this. Because you are going to want to make sure that when you bought this app, it came with a programmable input processor or PIP. P-I-P. Not with the M. You know? Paper in pocket. This thing right here, what has these three pins, you're going to want to plug this into here. And then you got RCAs. Now, we already know what an RCA cable is. If you don't, you're in the wrong place, buddy. I don't know how you got buying one of these and you know what an RCA cable is, you know? And there's some purist out there who's gonna tell me about Unbalance and how I should use XLR. Do I have XLR money? You don't. That's the reason why you don't have an XLS amplifier and you're working with the cheapest CTS on eBay. So, let's run this back. You and your C-Class Mercedes, I don't care. Now, You're going to need to fix your input voltage on this guy. Because this guy is meant for XLR and it's expecting a lot of input voltage. If you plug this thing up with aux, yo, it's going to be so quiet. Dog, 600 watts, you wouldn't even think about it. You wouldn't be getting close and you'd be clipping to the moon. This is what you are going to get. You're going to get a RCA preamp. Now, I'm not saying a phono preamp because that is a little nutso and you might break something. I don't think the amp would like that. But get yourself a adjustable preamp, one of those gain adjusters with the knobs. They're like 20 bucks on Amazon. Buddy, other than the amplifier, the only incurred cost you've had so far is a $10 bag of these stupid RCA connectors, a $5 bag of these little terminal connectors, and maybe $20 on a preamp, gain preamp thing, whatever. Boom. And look at that. Would you believe that you only spent $45 to make this thing work in here? $45 might seem like a lot of money, but I'm telling you, it's not that much money. It's not that much money. 